Hi guys, my name is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my eyeshadow collection. So if you want to see my favorite eyeshadows, then just keep on watching. So guys, one of my favorite palettes of all time is this Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. It is my favorite palette of all time for color. It is just so pretty. It blends out perfectly and I will show it to you up close. The shadows blend out like a dream and it's just an amazing palette. I highly recommend this one. Next, I'm going to show you my Naked palettes. I have the Naked 3 and the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I think the shadows blend out beautifully and they are very pigmented. My only complaint is no matter what shadows you combine, you're always gonna end up with the same look. And I bought this when I was really into warm shadows and now I'm definitely more into cool shadows, but it's still a really pretty palette. I think the packaging's really pretty. I'll show you up close inside. Comes with a brush. And yeah, it is a really, really pretty palette. I would recommend this one if you're really into warm shadows, but Keep in mind, it's just a very warm palette and you will get a very similar look, but the shadows do blend out really beautifully. Next is one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Naked 3 palette. I recently got this one for my birthday and I just think this palette is so beautiful. It's very cool toned, very mauve, very me. I'll show you the inside. It's got one pretty bronzy color, oops. And the benefit of these Urban Decay palettes is they all come with really good brushes and it's a really good quality brush. But yeah, I highly recommend this one. This is one of the palettes that I would take with me everywhere just because they all blend seamlessly together and you can always get a really good look. All right, now my Huda Beauty palettes. This is the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. Lighting's a little off there. This is a really beautiful palette. When you open it, you get this little sheet that comes off and this is the inside of it. Again, it's a really pink mauve palette. It's really, really beautiful. I would highly recommend this one. Again, though, it's not super versatile, so you will get a very pinky mauve look every time, but if you're into that, it would be a really good palette for you. And then my next Huda Beauty palette is this Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I just love the packaging on this one. It's so pretty, like, oh, her packaging's so beautiful. And then, and then here's the inside. This is a very warm palette, but I don't know if you can see very well the shimmers. There we go. This is a very warm palette, but it's still such a pretty palette. And out of my warm palettes, this is one of my favorite ones. I think her shadows blend out really beautifully. The packaging's amazing, and I really honestly do love this one. Next are my Anastasia Beverly Hill eyeshadow palettes. These palettes are really, really beautiful. Honestly, I don't think you can really go wrong with these palettes. The eyeshadows are extremely pigmented and they do blend out like a dream. And as you will see, my eyeshadow palettes are very well used. They look like they've been attacked. It's so bad. They've been through a lot, but I will still show you the inside, even though I've hit pan on a lot of the colors and they look pretty beaten up, but that shows you how much I love my Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is a really amazing palette and I would highly recommend that one. And then the other one I have is the Soft Glam. This is a really good palette for every day. And as you can see inside, I've really hit pan with a lot of the colors. Um, I think if you're gonna go for one that's more versatile, maybe the Soft Glam, but they're both really, really good, so. Yep. And then, Next is my Tardis Pro palette. This is one of my first palettes I ever had. And honestly, I think it's probably the best palette you can get for beginners. It is really well used. I like it because each row is really coordinated with one another. It comes with a lot of mattes and shimmers. And I think it has everything from neutrals to some more funky colors like greens and Honestly, if you're getting a palette for the first time, I think this is a really good one to get. Again, that one is really well used to mine. All right, next are my mini palettes. This is my newest mini palette. It's the Smashbox 
palette in punked it's cover shot punked eye palette I'll show you the back there and then i'll show you inside this is what it looks like on the inside again a very cool tone neutral palette i'm super into cool tones i feel like they flatter my features the best so i've definitely been sticking to cool tones lately but i feel like this is the perfect palette to keep in your purse or to take with you on a trip because it's so light yet there's so many different colors and it's just so pretty and so flattering so love that one my next mini one is this kat von d shade and light palette there it is up close I don't know if you can even still get these palettes. The packaging on it's really cool though. Um, but yeah, another cool tone palette, but I'm not even sure if you can still get these, so. Yeah. Next is this Stila palette. Um, this is the Matte and Metal eyeshadow palette. As you can see, this one is pretty well loved as well. It's got a mixture between some warm and cool tones, but I just think it's really pretty. It's one of the first palettes I got as well. Next is this Kylie Kai Shadow palette. It's the Holiday 2016 palette. This palette is actually amazing. I love actually using this in the holidays to create some like smoky looks. As you can see, it's got these beautiful um, jewel tones and I actually love those tones. I think this palette's quite beautiful, really. And the colors actually blend out really nice on this one. But I don't think you can get this one anymore. I do believe it was limited edition. Doesn't say if it was, but I think it was. Next is this little Dior mini palette. I love this palette because it's really good for travel. This is a cool neutrals palette. It's the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in 002 Cool Neutrals. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's a nice mixture of um, shimmers and mattes. And clearly you can see that I've hit pan on quite a few, so yeah. I love these little mini Dior palettes. I would highly recommend these. Next is one of my favorite palettes, my Charlotte Tilbury palette. This one isn't just an eyeshadow palette, but I'll show you the inside. What I love about this palette, honestly, and I wanted it so badly, was because you can take this with you anywhere and you have everything you need. You have a bronzer, a highlighter, two different blushes, and three different eyeshadows. And I feel like it can make it so you can pack so much less and it's just so pretty. This is the Instant Look in a Palette Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. This one came out at Christmas and I love this. Her shadows really, really are just so beautiful. And then lastly, guys, I'm gonna finish off with my Too Faced palettes. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Are you inside of it? This one is just a very neutral palette, I feel like. I feel like this is a really, really good beginner palette. If you don't have a lot of shadows, the Too Faced shadows honestly do blend out really, really beautiful, really seamlessly, and I feel like this would be a really good starter palette to have. Next is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I got it when I was loving warm toned eyeshadows, and I didn't use this one as much as I thought I would, to be honest. The reason why one of the shadows is missing isn't because I hit pan, it's actually because it fell out. But it does smell amazing. It smells so good and it is a beautiful palette and they do blend out seamlessly, the shadows. But like I said, I just didn't use this one a ton, but it is a really, really pretty palette still. So in this palette, you have a mixture between different purples and peaches and nice light colors for the lid. It is a really nice palette. I should start using it a bit more. But yeah, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love how they smell good. And the last palette I'm going to show you is my Too Faced Natural Lust palette. This one is pretty amazing. I will show you guys inside. It's got so many different colors. I absolutely love this palette. It is so pretty. It's got a range of cool tones, warm tones, shimmers, basically everything you could want. If you can get your hands on this palette, I highly recommend you do. It blends out absolutely beautifully. You have so many options. You could literally create any look you wanted. You could just get this palette and be good because you just have so many options. You even have like some bright colors like this to, to play with and have fun with. And I love this palette. So yeah, and I also have the bronzer that came with this palette. And I really like the bronzer 
as well. This was a really, really good collection in my opinion. So yeah, that's my Too Faced Natural Lust palette. So guys, that was my eyeshadow palette collection. If you like this video, give it a like, comment below all your favorite eyeshadow palettes. I would love to know. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.